to your WordPress site. The first thing you're going to want to do is to sign into the back end of your website so you can make edits and changes that you want to. To do that, you are going to type in your domain followed by backslash wp-admin. You'll see the screen where you, you will enter your username and password that has been provided to you or that you created yourself. Once you have that entered, click login. This is the back end of your website. A good thing to do is to open the front end of your website so you can have both open at the same time. To do that, you'll hover over the house on the top left of the, the screen and right click visit site that pops up. Then you'll click open link in new tab and it'll open up. This way, as you make changes to the back end of your site, you can go to the front end and refresh to see your changes. It is good to do this after every change you make on your website. Let's add your first page. To do that, you're going to go into the back end and choose Pages on the left hand side. Then you're going to click Add New, either up top or in the sidebar. Once this page comes up, type in the title of your page in the text bar at the top. This large watch white box is where you'll add all the text and content that you want to show up on your page. You can use this toolbar to edit your text just as if you were using Microsoft Word. You can bold, underline, align, and even change the color of your text right here. You can even use custom colors. You can also link your text by highlighting the text you want to link and clicking this button, this insert edit link button. You'll type in the URL that you want to link to and you can choose whether to open a link in a new tab or not and you can click add link. You can also link to other pages you already have made right here and you can search for them here. As more you add more pages, more pages will show up down here. Now this is a link. If you want to unlink that, you can highlight that same text and click the Remove Link button. It's easier to play around with these settings without messing up too much because you can always undo by clicking this arrow button right here. And you can redo. This drop down right here is your text styles. Right now, this text is in paragraph style. We can make text larger and more styled depending on the styles set in the theme options by the designer by making it a heading. Heading 1 is the largest and heading 6 is the smallest. Headings and paragraphs are going to be the only styles you really use the most. We're going to undo and let's add a style to this text. Once you add the text that you want and you're done editing for now, you can always add more edits later, you will click the blue button that says publish on the right hand side. Once that's published, it is now live on your website once you have it linked somewhere. You can view the page by right clicking view page and opening it in a new tab. This is your page with the styling that we've done. Let's add an image. Doing this is as simple as adding your text. Enter your cursor wherever you want to insert the image. Click Add Media right above your text toolbar. This box will pop up that says Upload Files, Media Library. If you already have images uploaded into the Media Library, they will show up right here. Or you can drag and drop or select Upload Files and select your files to upload. You'll find the image that you want to upload and click open. Once it's uploaded into the media library, make sure it's selected by seeing this check mark. You can change these settings down here, alignment, link, or size, now or after you've inserted to the page. We're going to wait and do that once it's inserted. You'll click insert into page on the bottom right. You should see your image pop up right where you placed your cursor. 
first you're going to want to make sure and figure out how you want it to be aligned. If you want to the text to wrap around your image, you're going to want to click the image and click align left or align right in this little bar. Otherwise, you can choose to center it or have no alignment at all. We're going to align it left and have the text wrap around. To resize the image, you can either click and drag the corners or you can click the little pencil icon to edit. You can choose your size, thumbnail, medium, full, or you can choose a custom size. I'm going to choose medium. You can also change the link. Right now it's linking to its own page for this particular image. You can attach page or custom URL or none whatsoever. Once you have the changes that you've made, click update and make sure it looks the way you want it to look. Once these changes have been made, you want to make sure you click update on the right side of the page. If you don't do that, you could lose all the changes that you've made. Now you can go to the front end and see all the changes that you've made added to your image. Another way to add images is by using the media library. You can access that by clicking media on the left hand side at the back end of the website. From here, you can drag and drop your file or click Add New and select your files. You can select as many files as you want at one time and then click Open and it will upload. All of the images that get uploaded to your website will end up here. You can also choose to delete your image by clicking on the image you want to delete and by clicking Delete Permanently.